So the Theravada go back, we can see in this map, uh, in the south of India, uh, where they will predominate. In a general way, we can say Theravada Buddhist countries blend uh, spirit worship with Buddhism. This does not mean that if a monk is participating in a spirit ritual in Sri Lanka or cleansing spirits from a house in Theravada, that they have given up their rationality of the Buddhist tradition, but more that principle of upaya or an approach that encourages people's connection with Buddhism through whatever avenue appeals to them and speaks to them. So we'll find Buddhism blending with lots of things as it travels through the rest of Asia, but in South and Southeast Asia, it will be spirit cults as well as a repetition of the classic Buddhist political structure whereby the king serves as a guardian uh, of the tradition, sometimes reforming the monks. And the Sangha is also deemed superior to the king at the same time.